something I'll never forget. Been waiting, been waiting, and, I've, and you know, we've all been waiting 39 years for that call. Erin Gilmore's family has been seeking justice for 39 years. Finally, last Thursday, her brother Sean got the call he'd been waiting for. It was monumental. It was uh, the best call, best phone call I've ever received in my life, to be honest with you. Detective Sergeant Steve Smith told him a man named Joseph George Sutherland had been arrested and charged with the first degree murders of Aaron Gilmore and Susan Tice. Gilmore, Sean McCowan's 22 year old sister, was found in the bedroom of the Yorkville home where she lived in December 1983. She'd been sexually assaulted and stabbed to death. Four months earlier, 45 year old Susan Tice was found fatally stabbed in the bedroom of her annex home just a few kilometers away from where Gilmore lived. She too had been sexually assaulted. In 2000, police announced DNA linked both women to the same killer. It took 22 more years to figure out who that DNA belonged to. Um, we built family trees uh, is the easiest way to explain. And those family trees were able to lead us to a couple of different families, all from the same region. Using investigative genetic genealogy, police methodically narrowed down their search to Sutherland. Police say the 61-year-old who lived in Toronto at the time of the murders and had no criminal record was arrested by OPP last Thursday in Moosonee. He was very stoic. I think he was probably expecting this at some point. Um, I can't speak to his state of mind, but I imagine if you commit crimes like this, and is there more? We don't really know. We are going to look at that. Sutherland eluded police for nearly four decades, a painful wait for the Gilmore family. You and I have spoken over the years, and, uh, and there's been many other journalists that have been great about sort of trying to keep Aaron's story alive. And Sean McCowan says he will attend court from now on as his search for answers continues. Catherine McDonald, Global News.